Wow, look at that. That's, doesn't show it off as well, I don't think, but it's very dramatic. And there we go. Just 10 minutes later, uh, the beautiful colour's gone and it's a miserable, grey-looking sky. But, for all you naysayers, all those people who say I couldn't do it, well, I did. That night, uh, I finished off and my daughter's got more space than she's ever had. I've got to be honest, the uh, solution wasn't elegant. Uh, uh, I just built another shelf. Literally, four pieces of wood with two screws down each end. That allowed me to stack everything to the ceiling. But, as you can see, mission accomplished. The daughter got a space. Maybe I could start using that. Scrapping washing machines in. I've got a walkway straight through. Right, uh, hi, here we go. I'll tell you what, let's, let's show you outside first. Come back outside because I'm, I'm birthday boy, aren't I? The ripe old age of 62. Fresh out here as well. So, uh, I got a few nice goodies. My wife was very thoughtful. She doesn't like me drinking whiskey. So she's now got me eating whiskey. But it was the thought that counts, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, my son turned up and he bought... He bought me a, a veritable plethora of uh, local beers. You know, my favourites, you know what they are. Old Peculiar. Inferno. I hope that's not got chilly in it. I can sweat on a polo mint. Peaky blinders, pale air. Platform 6.1. Is that out of Harry Potter? Is that, is that, I don't know. And Oud Roger. No, I like Oud Roger. I've, I've been to this brewery. Seen how they made this stuff. 7.4, my kind of, my kind of beer. And of course, and one that I've just poured out, King Goblin. Very nice. I got that for Christmas and that one for Christmas. Right, but I was going over here, wasn't I? I was looking at myself. Now, two years ago, I was 60 and I was on 3,000 subscribers. Two years later, I've now hit almost almost 10,000 so I've got to thank each and every one of you for that uh, although what does what does social blade say about me social blade says uh, C plus must do better oh well never mind I mean nice I've been 10,000 today on my birthday but it'll come it'll come right the bench is looking tidy. Yes, we did all the plugs. Uh, the 110 yellow ones, not the uh, bucket full of three pin plugs. I need to get some uh, plug soup going. As always, uh, full thanks to Snobby Scrap Picker for that idea. But why am I in here? Why am I in here? Well, I'm in here because, spin round. Well, I'm in here because although she's create, I've created the space for her. Uh, oh, cause no, let's talk about the lamp first. There is a video way back when I had a very unlucky day. I broke my light, it's actually that end I broke broke one off I broke my window and I think I broke the grinder as well I can't remember it was one it was one where all unlucky things come in threes when I did the big heavy welder and I got all that 98 pounds worth of copper out of it he also gave me some LED 
light fittings. So I replaced that with one with that, which is one of these. Right. The one that's up there is the only one where the wiring is complete. All these others have kind of had well, just been cut off and I didn't know how to wire it up. But that one, that one's got an annoying fault. It keeps going it's like it's like got three power settings so you'll be in here and it'll go dink and go down to the next level and after a, a bit longer then it'll go dink and go down to a low level that might be a plan i don't know but it's annoying and it flickers now and again you just go flick hey oh, might saw it then just did it then so i got another great idea i'm great with my great ideas and that was, uh, when I was cleaning that offices out, I found a new, unused, fluorescent light fitting. So what did I go and do? Well, I took that one down, I fitted that one, wired it all up. I have to make some small adjustments to it, the... Uh, I've got to make, oh, there we go I've got to drill a hole through the side, put a rubber grommet in, because that's where the wire feed will go in. Fitted it all up in the roof, and then tried to fit a bulb, a bulb, a fluorescent tube. And some people here, there we go, there's my fluorescent tube, and I couldn't put it in, like that. And guess what I found? It, 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 it weren't long enough. So of all the tubes I've got, I ain't got a tube that is long enough. You know, that got me kind of thinking, because, I just turn this way, go off, turn it round. Uh, doesn't work so well that way, but from this way, there's a lot of wasted space from here, all the way to the end. So what's going to stop me shortening it so I can fit one of these in? So very careful measurements. And I can cut that end off up there. Well, and, and just bring it down here. What could possibly go wrong? From looking at this, then I need to reposition the starter. All the cable I can just coil up and shove further down. Can't I? There's plenty of space there. So I need to drill a couple of holes right about here. Doop, doop. Replace that starter there, which means I'll need to make a starter hole through the side, about there. The end cap is kept on with this spring which fits through that hole. So I really need to take that off, bring that further down at the right distance from the end and weld that back in. Like I say, what could possibly go wrong? I'll get out that and I'll see you in a little bit. So there you go, it's uh, it's dropped again, and now it started uh, flashing. Uh, and that ain't very bright. So it's got to come down. Something else has got to whoop in its place. Okay, well, I've actually spent a bit of time uh, playing, wiring up. Right. So I've got one set up here. As you can see, all the wiring's kind of been... Uh, uh, just just cut off but I did have a photograph of the one that was did that was set up correctly so if I replicate that over there 
I should be able to get one working. Right, that means I'm going to need some chocolate blocks. Well, these. Hey, what kind of guy would I be if I didn't have a bunch of chocolate blocks? And seeing that I've never thrown any away in my life, I need to get that one down. And get it down I did. Come on guys. Any lot of thrown chocolate blocks away because you never know when they're gonna come in handy. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of wiring up. I see in a bit. I don't know if you can see it, but that's that one. And now I've wired two up in here. And that's I think what they should look like. So considerably that's I can't say that. Considerably brighter. So maybe I just need to replace the one that's in the ceiling with one of those. And I won't need to cut down the other lamp. So I reckon if I'm gonna take that one down, I may as well give this one a bit of a clean. So, you know, if it's all white, it will ref reflect the light a bit better. There we go. Old socks, they come in handy. I did the same with the plastic outer diffraction lens, which has come up nice and clean compared to, oh, compared to something like that, which uh, I've got. Checking it down is gonna be really easy. It's just held on with four screws, uh, nuts, bolts, duh. Four bolts, turn that in. Uh, I've got the wiring that goes to a junction box, but I have a separate switch in here. So I will do it technically live, as in I won't have the switch on. I'll put a bit of tape over that so I don't accidentally catch it. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, dropping it down, putting the other one up. So there we, there we go, typical Ian fashion. Uh, said there was four bolts, didn't I? So I've took three off, I've lowered it down. The fourth bolt fell off, bounced off there and went round there somewhere. I can't see it. So, as I said, simple's enough. There's my feed coming in. Uh, so it's a matter of just disconnect those two, put the other one in its place, bolt it back up. Jobs are good. One. Ian says. <laughs> it's easy, this electrical stuff. It. I can go in the same hole. I always give it a little tug before you finish. So I guess, I guess all that's left now is to take the tape off and uh, switch on. Wow! Well, you've got to say that works. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That probably means that I won't need to uh, shorten this. But I might just. Oh well. Winner, winner. And with that on, it's way much brighter. Right, let me uh, fasten that on. Wow. 
look at that. So what I've also done is to uh, take a bit of time and wipe the ceiling, the ceiling cladding down. I've only wiped up to there. Well, as you can tell, hopefully now if I switch that on, it should give me a lot more light reflection. So let's go. Boosh. Oh yeah, that's way much better. Way much better. Of course, there's a reason I've been doing this as well. I'll not buy the fact that I've got poor lighting. But I collected, I don't know, one, one, I brought one up, two, three, four, four of those light fittings, two don't work, but came with it is all the, uh, the back casings. So if I've only got two that's working, then I only need two cases. So that means I can now get rid of those, create a bit of space in the garage, which after all is the ultimate end game. And that's because I've been watching the Avengers. Actually, I'm just about to go in Sunday afternoon and watch the Avengers end game. Three hour movie. But of course it's my birth well, my birthday lasts the entire weekend. So uh I'll wish you, well, a happy new year anyway. And uh, I'll catch you a lot in the next one. Ian in his bright shed. See you later. Yeah, so here we go. The old unit has now been broken up. And we've got some ballast out of it, some uh, capacitors and some aluminium. Now, the curse of being... Well, I've got to say, the curse of being a hoarder. Right, I'm going to go in there. But before we do that, we've got these people live. It's uh, it's Sunday evening and it's uh, Dusty Blonde's live stream. I've just turned the sound off, but I am listening. And we've got Dusty, we've got Tech, we've got Tim, Tina and Ali, Ralph and Scotty. However, let's get back to the the curse of being a hoarder. Oh, the curse of seeing things in things. What am I talking about? Right, I got the light up there working perfectly. Lovely and bright. Of all these units I've got. So I've got one, two, three, four, five back casings and lights and then two broken ones and these I'm going to throw away and then it's like throw away can we not use them for something what can we use them for and then it's like well I know it's middle of winter but what happens if I take one of these and like put it down there and then what happens if I fill it full of soil and put some seeds in it got a big long grow box so I'm tempted so there you go I'm tempted I mean do I throw them away I don't make them into grow boxes for summer oh decisions decisions